Let's go back to read. I always interrupt DJ Khaled, and I feel so bad for doing it. <laughs> Flint's Club 937, right. you don't ever interrupt Khaled. Artemis here, what's going on, Shemi? How you living, man? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm living good. I'm feeling good. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. We got Flint's very own Shemi in the building right now, and, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to diss other rappers, but your song, man, is something different about the Flint water crisis. I mean, it's really... You know, and and I appreciate every rapper who has who has come out with a Flint Water Crisis song, but you really hit home with some of those bars, man. Talk about the song "Home." Um, so, when I wrote that song, I immediately I I had heard all the other songs that you know uh, rappers were doing, and one thing that I noticed was is that a lot of them, if not all of them, lacked uh, lacked the hook to maybe make it go national, on a national level, maybe get it picked up by radio. Uh -huh. um, so I reached out to Damon McKenzie of the band last summer, and um, he's just a super talented guy. He's a musical genius. And uh, we did that hook, man, and the hook crossing genres like that, and uh, the hook is so catchy. Yeah. I, I knew right then that it was just going to be different. It, it, it's, a, it's really different because I listened to these other flint water crisis songs and it's just bar 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 just nothing yeah, but yeah. bars which is good but yours has that uh, like you said it has that national appeal like did you just hit them up you're like hey i want to do this song i mean who produced it like like what was your what was your lane with that so the crazy thing is is that the, the track is actually produced by band play um, mm -hmm. who signed to june and south um one of my best friends that i grew up with uh grew up with band play in uh nashville and uh he linked that situation up got me the track um, and then Bernard Terry, who owns Area 521 Studios out in Beecher, that's where I record at. Um, I, I let him hear the song and I was telling him it's missing like, I want something edgy on the hook. I, it's missing like a rock feel. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had never heard Damon before and he played it for me. And like, man, he, he has so many views on YouTube, Damon does. So I thought when I reached out to him that he might not even hit me back. Um, but he, dude, he loved the song. He immediately hit me back and uh, was like, the lyrics are genius. He's like, I would love to be a part of it. And now me and him, we've developed a super good friendship. Really yeah, cool. and it's not like, you know, I don't want to get people, you know, confused. It's not a pop record by any means. No, I mean, no, it's got it's got a catchy hook, mm -hmm. but you listen to these bars, and I want to get into it right now. Um, it, you definitely have something here, you know, and I mean... I appreciate that. I mean, M Live has talked about it. We're talking about it today. And, uh, you, you know, like you said, you know, we want the uh, Flint Water Crisis not to just be a Twitter hashtag. Right, right, exactly, yeah. Um, that's like, you know, one of the bars in the song is, is um, before water was ruining lives, it was strays from the AK. And um, I really felt like, you know, me personally, I have, I've lost friends um, to the violence within the city, um, a few of them. And it, it almost seems like, you know, st stuff like that happens every day here or places like Chicago or Detroit. And um, nobody cares until it's trendy, man. Right. You know what I mean? And, and so that's that's what I mean by that line. I want to talk more about uh, this song, Home, but, you know, I don't want to keep people waiting. We're going to get into it right now. New music right here from Shemi. And uh, who, who sings the hook again? Uh, Damon McKenzie of the uh, band Last Summer. Check it out. It's Home on Club 937. Flint's Club 937. New music right there. Home from Shemi. We got uh, Shemi in the booth right now. Man, powerful song. I was just talking to you off air, and I, I had mentioned, I was like, man, you and Connor, you guys get it. And, like, I don't compare a lot of people to Connor. Like, Connor's, like, Connor's up there, yeah, you know, yeah, as, yeah. as far as, like, Flint status and everything. But I hear that song, and I hear an actual song. You know, and you had mentioned to me, you were you were you were talking about the similarities between Connor's song and your song. Yeah, yeah. So I, I love how real Connor's song is how he said you know my mama put 30 years in that shop it really I really felt the same way when I was writing this because my grandfather he was he was a union man his whole life um, worked at the General Motors plant um, in Grand Blanc his whole life uh, he took the buyout and um, like I said he worked hard until the day he died you know what I'm saying I'd see that guy wake up at five in the morning get home five at night and then he ran a small engine repair business on the side so he'd go out in the garage and He'd be out there until uh, until sundown. So it was just like you know, man, the, the American dream that their generation was promised. It just uh, it's kind of obsolete, right? You know, especially for our generation. Yeah, yeah, and I think not only the you know the American dream, but then you look at situations ar around you know like in Flint, where it's like the water crisis. It's like not only are they taking the dream away, but then you can't even drink the water. Right, exactly. Where the dream's located, yeah. you know yeah, what man. I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, Ho right, right. Um, you know, hope was already broken. 
and then Flint gets let down again. Right. You know, it, it's like, you can't win. So. Now, if people want to check out this song more, um, maybe they want to listen to it again, share it with their friends, how would they go about doing that? Okay, so uh, soundcloud.com slash Shemmy, which is a S-H-E-M-Y. Okay. You can listen to the song there, but I'm actually, I'm encouraging everybody to um, find me on Facebook, Nicholas Shems. I'm going to spell it out for you quick. N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S S-H-E-M-E-S. And uh, that's my personal Facebook page, but I, I like to connect with everybody personally. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, that seems to be where a lot of my hits are coming from on this track. Yeah, definitely, man. And uh, check the track out. Listen to it a couple times. I, I like the track because it's got some hidden bars, man, like some stuff to where you got to yeah. go back and listen to again, you know, to really it. to really get it. So You know, man, I, I, so people that have heard it, man, have told me that it's made them cry. Um, when you hear stuff like that, it's like you just you know yeah you, know well, you're, that you got something you're bringing emotion out of people man yeah, and that's yeah. th that's what it's about so make sure you uh, hit him up on Facebook we're gonna post the link uh, here in a couple hours club 937com Shemi thank you so much for coming in man no problem thanks for having me I appreciate it.